activities and the practices in the morning too. Has it been a good experience so far? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty good experience. We got a, a break before we got here, so it was good to get back and see my brother and stuff like that. Spend some time together. It's been fun. What the practice has been like. I know it's a different setting and a different environment. Uh, you pleased with the work you guys have been able to get done? I really do. I think that um, even like that first day, like for it being the first day back that we had a pretty good practice and I think we've had a good week of practice and I think uh, we're prepared for this game. What's been some of the highlights of the week, um, the events away from practice? Ooh, uh, one of my favorite parts was going to the Fort Bliss. Fort Bliss, we got a chance to see some of the training systems that they have over there, like <coughs> shoot some of their like training guns and stuff like that. Um, and also on that trip, we got to have a dinner with them where we had a hypnotist. And I did not think that was real, but I think it is now. So <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Who are they? I know uh, Gabe was one of the guys. Who else got hypnotized? Oh, the Kalen Brooks was good and hypnotized. So was um, Trey Sean. So was Ryan Fitzpatrick, Rich Fitzpatrick. Yeah, there was that guys were getting hypnotized. I was hypnotized for a short amount, but I came out of it. So what uh, what, what made you believe in it now? Cuz I was I feel like I was, I got got like yeah, when I went down and put me to sleep. I think I was I wasn't asleep, but cuz it's not sleep. It, I don't want to explain the whole thing, but I felt like I was in it for a second, so I think it's right. Yeah. Um, looking at, are you guys doing more preparing for Arizona State, or are you focusing on like yourselves and fundamentals? Because what's that balance like in practice? Oh, we're preparing for Arizona State. Like we've done a lot of um, like game plan stuff this week, so it's really been pretty specialized, pretty focused. So you guys have faced some mobile quarterbacks, like the guy Virginia and some other ones. What, is this guy similar to that, or is he looked around even more? Good. He's a good player. Um, you know, with any mobile quarterback, you want to do a, a good job containing him and trying to keep him in the pocket. You know, uh, we, we, I think we have a good plan for him, and and uh, it should be a good game. It should be a good battle. Did you, I think when we talked to you a couple a week or two ago, you were getting ready to talk to Coach Norvell. Did, did you have that conversation? How did, how did it go? Yes, oh, it went well. Coach Norvell is a great guy, and uh, he's very genuine. That's, a, that's one of the things I took from that meeting, that whatever he says, he really means it. And, um, yeah, I just – I just think that he wants the opportunity to coach all of us here and that he chose us, and, and I appreciate that from him. And I think uh, he'll be great for Florida State. Was he more selling himself to you guys or more asking you questions? Um, kind of both. He really wants to build a relationship. It seems like it's his focus right now is building relationships with people because that's something that you can't rush. You know, I think that takes time. So he wanted to get in and start that right away. I think that's one of the most important things to him in this period. But since then, your position coach has been announced. Have you had a chance to look into him at all and see you know, what he's about? Well, actually, I haven't. I haven't done much research. I've been pretty much focused on, yeah, just uh, finishing up the season for the seniors and stuff like that. But I've heard some things about him, and uh, I think he should be good for us, too.